Hey, my name is Dallin Broomfield, and I'm the owner here at Iron Chess Pest Control Marketing. This video here is the custom website screencast that you requested through the email. And so in this video, I'm going to go over some tips and tricks on how you can improve your online presence and overall just generate more traffic leads and sales through your website. Um, if you wouldn't mind, please give me some feedback on this video on what you thought. But without further ado, the three things that we're going to go over today is content, citations, and backlinks. So content is king. You want to have a lot of content across your website, and there's a few reasons why. One, it's going to let Google know that you're the expert in your field. And then two, it's going to allow you to get in all of the high quality and relevant keywords that the Google users are searching for. So we're going to dive into some of these keywords real quick, but I will say it was extremely hard uh, to figure out where you were actually servicing. I couldn't find any kind of service area mentioning anything across the website. I did find the keyword Indiana, and then I had to look up the area code of this number right here and found that you were in somewhere south of Indiana. So I hope I'm on point with these keywords, but I'm really just guessing because I'm not 100% sure your service area. So looking at some of these keywords like animal control Bloomington, which is the south region of Indiana, this keyword gets searched three or 30 times every month, has a keyword difficulty of four. Some more keywords is like wildlife removal, Bloomington, Indiana. That keyword gets searched another 10 times every month. And then rodent control Bloomington gets searched 30 times every month and has a keyword difficulty of two. So if I wanted to get found for a keyword like Blooming or rodent control Bloomington, I would come over to my website and I would make sure that that exact match keyword was inside my content. So of course, right now you don't have that keyword inside your content. So I put it in my header one, which Let's see what your header one tag is. It looks like it's just called today for a free estimate. Okay, that's your first header one tag and it looks like you've got several. So that is a big no-no. You don't wanna have more than one header one tag on your website. It is just a, the way that the algorithm reads your website. It does not like that. Also, you don't have a title. So this title right here is going to tell Google basically what this page is about. So it's really important that you have a title here and that you're using these exact match keywords inside your title. At the end of this video, I'll go into a little bit more of that. But again, I would make sure that I'm using those exact match keywords like rodent control, Bloomington. I would put it in my titles. I would put it in my content and then I would even save my images as these keywords. Okay, so of course the Google algorithm cannot see these images but they can see what's behind them. So doing these is all a way to make the algorithm and let the algorithm know like, hey, we're doing road control in Bloomington. That's what the user just searched. We're doing that service. So the Google algorithm is able to find you because you're using those keywords inside your content, in your headers and in your title. So that's my number one tip for you is to make sure that you're building out just service area pages for every city that you service or every town that you service. You want to, you want a service page built out for that. And then you want those types of pests like raccoon removal, Bloomington, rodent control, Bloomington. You want to set up those pages. Um, so you can get in those keywords in there. Okay. So as my number one tip for you is content. Second, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to Google wildlife control Bloomington I N. So the first, typically the first two things that you normally see up at the top of the SERPs is the paid advertising through Google, uh, the Google guaranteed and the PPC. Right now, Google LSA, the Google guaranteed, the local service ads part, the one at the very top, they are not offering ads for wildlife control anymore, but the PPC ads you can run and I highly recommend it because it is a very lucrative and effective way to bring in traffic to your page for people specifically looking for rodent control in your area. But the next one, we're gonna just stay on search engine optimization. So the next one is your local map pack. In my opinion, this is the best place to be because of the reviews. People trust reviews like their grandma, 
And so it's very important to have a lot of reviews, a lot of five-star reviews, right? So you also want to be responding to those reviews. Google loves to see that you're interacting with your customers. Another good way to interact with your customers is to be making weekly Google posts and posting about your products and services. But most importantly, and my tip number two, is creating citations to your Google My Business profile. Citations are simply just online directories. Anywhere where your business name, address, and phone number is listed is going to create that citation for you. And the more of those you have, the more authority and rank you will have up in the local map pack. And then finally, the last one down here, this is your organic traffic. This is where your website would go. And so when we're talking about Google, Google is just one big popularity contest. And so the more relevant backlinks that you have linking back to your website are basically just these other websites that are raising their hand and saying, hey, this guy is trusted and authoritative and deserves to be up at the top of Google. So my tip three is getting more backlinks to your website. So we're going to go back over to this tool that I use called Arefs. It is just a tool. It's not 100% correct all the time, but we can see that you're, you are fairly new. You don't, your website does not have a domain rating at all. You have a UR rating of 4.7, 12 referring domains going back to 13 backlinks and you're not being found for any keywords on your website as of right now, okay? So we're gonna skip over to this other company that we have down in Dallas that they really focus on, they Trapping USA, so they really focus on uh, anything, you know, wildlife, right? They have all their wildlife and then they also do pest control, but they're extremely big in rodent control. So what we did for them was built out a back page for them for rodent control Dallas, just like I was showing you for rodent control Bloomington. Here's that keyword, exact match keyword, rodent control Dallas. And now we're going to, I'm going to sh show you the titles. Okay. So here's that title, rodent control Dallas is in the title. And then we've got trapping USA rodent removal Threw in some of their brand name in there. And then again, down here in their description, we're using rodent control Dallas. We have one header, one tag. And again, we're saying rodent control Dallas. So we're, we're manipulating that algorithm and telling that algorithm that we are the top dogs here. We are doing rodent control Dallas. Okay. So after we get the content on that page, then we want to go back over to our offsite strategy where we're running backlinks to that specific page. Okay. So currently we have 19 backlinks ran to this specific URL. So it bumped that UR authority up to 14 for that URL. And by doing that, we were able to boost these guys up at the top in Dallas, which is a very, very highly populated area. Okay. So rodent control Dallas, this keyword gets searched 150 times every month. They're sitting on position five for that. So they've got roughly about 12 people traveling to their website every month looking for rodent control services in Dallas. Dallas rodent control, another six for that. Rodent removal Dallas, another four for that. Rodent trapping Dallas, another two for that. So all of this traffic right here are people with buyer intent going to their website. They have a rodent problem and they're looking for somebody to solve it for them. Anyways, I hope you found valuable information into this video and I really look forward to getting some feedback from you on what you thought. Thank you.